Oh, got one. Yep. Ooh, that's a nice one too. That's a cup boat for sure. Is it a cup boat? That's gotta be. Oh, with, right. those, with those dots. I'm gonna <laughs> bet it is. We got lunch. We got lunch, man. All right, everybody. This has been a long time coming. Finally got Big D from the Faded Channel out here. Me and him have been trying to get together to do some fishing for the last year or so. And every time we try to plan something, something comes up. But I finally got him out here on the Western Slope. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Okay, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook on the river. I don't ever really do catch and cooks on the river. Um, not like that's a bad thing or anything like that. It's just that I'm usually cooking my trout up in the mountains. So this is gonna be a really fun experience for me. And the Faded Channel here, he doesn't just do catch and cooks. He's really, really good at him, a really good chef, knows what he's doing with it. So we're gonna be trying to get a couple cup bow trout today. So hopefully getting into one apiece and yeah, cooking up some fish. So let's get into some big ones, man. Let's go. They paid it, y'all. Hey, make sure you guys check out his channel, okay? I'll leave that above. He's got some awesome content. Gets after not just trout, gets after wiper, striper, gets after all kinds of stuff, lake trout. So you guys, if you enjoy my channel, you'll definitely enjoy his too. What are you using? Ghost cutthroat. Oh yeah, I'm using the natural... Um... Oh, got one. Nice brown. <laughs> oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, pretty. With that runoff, these usually aren't as pretty right now, but it's a nice size fish, probably about a 16. It really wouldn't be that hard. Oh, got one. Yep. Oh geez, he's hopped up right on the rock. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on. Yep. She's barely got him. Yeah, straight rainbow. Beautiful fish. Okay, cool. DJ is hooked up. Yeah. Brown. Brown. Yeah. Skunk's out for both of us. It's always good when you've been here for about 30 minutes and the skunk gets out for everybody. Yep. All right, sweet. Let's get him over here into this calmer current. That was definitely off the bottom. I could feel my lure just kind of bouncing against the rocks a little bit. Nice colors, that mustard yellow. Kind of skinny. Beautiful fish though. There it is. There we go. Oh geez. That, that gave me a good run. I 
I'm not sure yet. Oh yeah. Jeez, these things are fighting hard. I love the spring fishing. Let's see if we can land them now. Oh yes. Ooh, that's a nice size fish. Yeah. First cup, oh. So this is why this guy was running on me, you guys, because he's so thick. He's a wow. nice thick guy. Put the nice little slash there under. But yeah, that's a nice solid one. I thought it was gonna be bigger, dude. He just started running on me so hard and stripping my drag. All right, so far so good. Great morning of fishing. Got that guy right there in his little playpen. Don't want him to escape, that's lunch. So we're trying to get one more cut bow. One more cut bow, we'll see what happens here. Whew, I'm pretty excited for lunch though. Got it. Ooh. Beautiful colors. Skinny guy. They're getting hungry, it's that spring bite. So I just hit my GoPro off after that last catch and hit it right back on. In between that time, I just hit another fish, you guys. All right, everybody, just bouncing around a little bit. It's not like we're not catching fish, but again, we're just really trying to cook up cut bows today. So taking them down river a little bit. We're at the confluence now between the Colorado and the Roaring Fork. Got some really nice water, okay? Got that big rapid emptying into this pool. Got some really nice side currents and pockets over there. So let's see if we can get them into uh, not only just some more fish, but let's see if we can get another cut boat shot for the catching cup. So let's get after it. I'm over here, we're at the confluence, like I said, and you can really see now. Here's the Roaring Fork and you can see up here that brown water, that's the Colorado huge color difference in the water and that's why we decided to hit the roaring fork today instead of the colorado because we didn't want to be fishing in chocolate milk big d's on oh i got one too oh my god we had the double up shoot i just missed the double up yep i think this is the combo dude Oh shoot. Oh my goodness, you guys. We've been grinding for it. Yes! I think I have other fishing line on them too. Somebody's snell right here. Throw that away here in a minute. Oh shit! Oh, dang it. Oh, well, let's get another one, y'all. Two, that's a nice one, too. That's a cup boat for sure. Is it a cup boat? It's gotta be. Oh, with, right. that, with those dots, I'm gonna <laughs> bet it is. We got lunch. We got lunch, man. <laughs> Big D had to save us there since I had to lose that last one. I'm betting that is just with the spots the way they are. It looks like a, it looks like a cup boat for sure. Would you stop? <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, folks, we got a cut bow. So Sweet man. We're gonna keep this guy for lunch. So we got two. Should be plenty for me and yeah. uh, me and Tyler here. Definitely, man. We're gonna make a spicy garlic ginger cut bow with rice dish. That sounds awesome to me. Heck yeah. Let's go cook. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! 
Let's, let's eat and then we'll come back and fish some water. Hell yeah, man. All right, everybody. So we have accomplished the mission of getting two cup boat trout. It was a little bit of a grind. Not like the fishing was a grind, but getting those two cup boats was a little bit much. Um, we actually had it and then you saw me miss that one. So right now, we got some rice cooking up, okay? Big D over here is getting everything hooked up. Got the vegetables. I'm just gonna let him do his thing because I don't not, I'm not sure what he's doing, but I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. So we'll get some shots of things going here and uh, we're gonna be drinking some beer, kicking back, and we'll get back with you with the food. Too much. There we go. All right. You're gonna be like, hey, Big D, <laughs> can you come back up here and catch some trout and cook it some more? <laughs> I don't know, man. Can I sleep over? <laughs> sure. Okay. Come there. A little dry, folks. <laughs> Oh yeah. Nice. So I left the pin bones in and we're gonna fry it up to a nice crispy golden brown so we can eat the pin bones as well. Oh, there's a belly section. We'll put that here. Alright folks, our uh, our fish is done here. We're gonna take it out of the oil. I don't think I'm gonna cook any more because Tyler and I are really hungry and there's only two of us. This should feed the both of us. So we're gonna take it out, put on some paper towel to drain the oil, and we're gonna make the sauce. Make the uh, soy, ginger, garlic, hot pepper sauce. I am gonna get Tyler so addicted that he's gonna love me for life. <laughs> Sesame oil is very pungent, so don't use too much, right? So here we got our, our herbs, or not our herbs, but our aromatics. We got shallots, ginger, garlic, and hot pepper. All right, let's throw them in there. Woo, yeah, baby. Oh my God, that smells good. Mm. Smells like an Asian household. Oh my God, that smells good. Let's <laughs> eat that. <laughs> All right, sweat that out a little bit. We're not gonna cook it down too much here. We just wanna bring out the uh, flavor, right? Uh, the toastiness of these things. We're gonna add a little bit more sesame oil here. Okay, bring out that nuttiness of the uh, sesame seed. There we go, all right. Rock on. Now, we're gonna throw our fish back in. All right, let's mix all this in together. Oh man, can you smell that, Tyler? Oh my God, it smells amazing, everybody. Can you smell what Big D is cooking? <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish it off. A little bit of soy. That should be enough right there. All right, mix everything together. Turn off the heat. Okay, got the heat off. And let's finish this bad boy up with some cilantro, green onion, and culantro. There we go. It's just like that, folks. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Okay, mix it all together. Tyler, we are done, brother. Man, that looks 
I mean, everybody comment below. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? We're about to get into the taste test, of course, but that just, <laughs> that's appetizing right there. All right. My goodness. Of course, you guys already know we gotta have some rice. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Guys, okay, put it on top. Okay, be careful. Oh my God, how's it gonna roll like that? We're serious about littering. We don't do it. All right, folks. This is Tyler's it. Tyler's bowl right here. Check it out. Oh yeah. man. Let me give you that. So obviously now we got to taste test it. So let's see what we got here. I'm just gonna try the fish first. That is really, really, really good. Don't put too much on there. Taste the fish first. Oh, I did. All right, first. It was freaking delicious. Yeah. You guys, this food is straight fire. This is so good. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. That is so good, man. Mm. I'm telling you guys, I gotta step my catch and cook game up. This is insane. So just to let you guys know kind of what this taste is like, you know, it's got some good hints of garlic, got some good hints of ginger. Um, you can really taste that cilantro. You got some nice spice to it, a nice kick. The fried fish makes it really crispy. No fishiness. That's probably the, one of the better parts about this. You know, trout can taste kind of fishy sometimes. And there's really no fishy taste of this at all. Um, squirted some lemon on here as well. But I'm telling you what, you guys, um, if you can follow that recipe, you definitely should try this. All right, so as you guys saw in the taste test and the cooking process, this food is amazing. Wish I could share this with you guys through the screen, but obviously that's not possible. But I'm telling you what, you guys, check out his channel. He makes food like this, all kinds of different types of dishes. Mm. Glad you finally were able to get out here and get some fishing done with me, man. I mean, this has been a long time coming, like I said in the intro. Absolutely, bro. Anything you want to say to the fans? Hey, yo. Subscribe to my channel, the Faded Channel. Do it. It stands for fishing and drinking every day. That's yep. what all y'all want to do out there, right? That's right. <laughs> hey, Big D, signing out. Stay faded, folks. I'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.